connecting. Hi guys and welcome to Eve Basics. I'm Tappets and in this video we're going to be looking at setting a destination, using gate ping bookmarks and how to evade death when you come across a camped gate. So the first thing that we're going to look at is how to set an autopilot destination. There are three main ways of doing this. The first would be to open your map and find the system you're looking for, then right clicking on it and setting as your destination. This can be hard if you don't know where on the map you're trying to get to. The second way to do it is to open your map and type in the search box the name of the destination and then right clicking on the search results. The third way would be to right click on a yellow link that somebody has posted in a chat channel and then setting that as your destination. When you have set a destination it's always a good idea to ask in local intel channel if there are any known camps or hostiles in the area. Sometimes you might not get a response but it's always good to check. So now we're out in space we can start moving to our destination. Now we could just walk straight to the gate we're going to, but if there's any anchored or dicta bubbles on the gate we might get dragged off and die in a horrible death. So what we can do is walk to a perch on the gate so then we can see if the gate is clear and walk down to the gate and jump to the next system. So here we're going to walk to a corporation perch bookmark on the X-B gate by right clicking into empty space and then selecting the bookmark from the menu. We're just warping to it at zero but we could also warp to it at range if we wanted by using the drop down menu just below it. When we land on the perch we can have a look at the gate to make sure it's safe and warp down to it. Now I'm going to use the jump button in the selected menu item to automatically warp to the gate at zero kilometers and then jump through. So as I jump into system I can see a hostile interdictor on my overview and I am within its 20km bubble range. So before I do anything I'm going to weigh out my session timer as that might stop me from doing certain things like jumping back through the gate. As I'm cloaked for 60 seconds after jumping into system I have plenty of time to look around and think about what I'm going to do. I could also use this time to quickly type in any intel channel about this hostile. Now when the session timer is gone I look around the gate and I see the interdictor is sat 0 kilometers away from the gate and he puts a bubble up. So in this situation I have three options, I could fight him and probably die, I could jump back through the gate or try to run away. This time I'm going to jump back through the gate into the system I've just come from. So this time I'm going to jump the gate back into the last system. So I can either left click the gate in space or from the overview so it goes into my selected items box and then what I'm going to do is hit reapproach the gate and activate my macro warp drive and then jump the gate. So I can use a quick trick to overload my MWD when I do this but you have to do it all super quick. I'm going to hit approach or jump on my selected items box then I'm going to activate my MWD but I'm also going to quickly overheat the MWD to give me a bigger speed boost. I'm going to quickly double click the MWD icon. The first time I click it I'm going to hold the shift key down. Then the second click without the shift key. So it turns on overloading then activates the MWD. This will move me quickly into jump range of the gate and I'm going to spam jump in my selected items box to jump the gate and hopefully I can get back to the gate before the hostile can kill me. Now in this situation the hostile locks me and aggresses on me, so now he will have a weapons timer and will be unable to jump the gate with me to get me on the other side. This means I am free to quickly warp to safety on the other side. So this time when I jump in I'm going to try and run away using an MWD cloak trick. Now this works best on ships that can fit covert ops cloaks which means they can walk while cloaked. This also works a bit on normal cloaks but not always. 
So here I'm on the correct side of the bubble towards my destination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my destination gate in my selected items box by clicking on it in space or in the overview. I'm going to quickly click approach then activate my MWD and cloak. Then when I'm out of the bubble I'm going to decloak and warp to the next gate and hopefully I don't die. This time our destination is on the other side of the bubble, so I'd have to travel a long distance to get out of the bubble if I align in that direction. So I'm picking a random asteroid belt as my selected item, as that is semi in line with where I am, and I can warp to there when I'm out of the bubble. So this time I'm not going to align directly to my warp out point. I'm going to double click in space out of the bubble and use the MWD cloak trick. When I'm out of the bubble, I'm going to align to my selected destination, decloak and warp and hopefully I can get away. So this time the hostile was able to get within 2 kilometers of me and decloak me, but he did not bubble again. So I was able to still get away. Thanks hostile. Unfortunately this trick doesn't always work, and trying to warp away is just a death sentence to a competent hostile. So now you have the basic information to be able to set destinations, warp to ping bookmarks and how to evade simple gate camps. Skill training completed.